guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, oh, we are spilling some piping hot tea. Well, we potentially are. We are trying the Kylie Jenner skincare line for a week straight. Everyone, please take a moment of silence to pray for my skin that is about to be ruined. Thank you. So this skincare line has been very controversial and People are bashing it. So this is a big risk. I'm really putting my skin out on the line here for you guys. It could be completely destroyed in a week from now. So subscribe to me, please. Ugh, I'm so brave. Everyone has been bashing the skincare line before they've even tried it. A lot of people haven't even begun to review it yet other than her friends. So pretty much all of the reviews so far are biased by Kylie's friends. And well, I'm pretty sure you could probably guess I'm not Kylie's friend so I'm gonna be ruthless so it is being bashed on Twitter right now they are digging Kylie's grave and well some of these tweets I feel very attacked by waiting for when a dermatologist reviews the Kylie skin line instead of a bunch of 13 to 20 year olds who just got it in the mail anyone buying Kylie skin products deserves bad skin I'm sorry a walnut scrub? I can't believe bitches bought a $22 face scrub, plus shipping and handling, for a bottle of St. Ives Apricot Skin Scrub. Idiots. And many other tweets. Things are not looking good for me right now. <laughs> I'm starting to regret committing to this video, but as I said before, I am a brave soldier. I am braver than the US Marines. So her skincare line comes with a face wash, a walnut skin scrub, a vanilla milk toner, vitamin C serum, face moisturizer, and eye cream. So we really got the whole deal here. So pretty much um, for my skincare routine, I usually will wash my face in the morning and moisturize, and that's about it. And then at night, I will go through the whole process and do all of these. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for a week. So let's start out with her foaming face wash and see what we think. A lot of the recycling clan has bashed her about the plastic bottles. I mean, I agree. She could have used something else, you know. Other than that, it's pretty cute packaging, I'd say. Can't wait to break out. <laughs> Can't wait for my skin to start tearing. Ay. Okay, so... From what I can feel right now, it's pretty thick, and she did say it goes a long way, so I guess we'll see about that. I literally look like the Pillsbury Doughboy, but it's fine. Wow, it is really thick. It feels like it's probably giving me a lot of moisture in my skin, which is good because I do have very dry skin. But um, if you have oily skin, not really too sure about this girl. If you have skin, probably not too sure about this girl. Also, I'm not a dermatologist, but I do have two eyes and a brain, so I'll probably be able to come to some type of conclusion about how this works. Oh, she's stinging. She is stinging. All right, I'm not gonna flex. Honestly, my face feels pretty smooth and moisturized after that first scrub or first wash, but now we're going in with the walnut face scrub, which I have not heard good things about. Everyone at home watching right now, please blow a kiss to my good skin. Bye girl. The infamous walnut face scrub. It's over for me, this is, this is it. My boobs are gonna like come out. What boobs? Okay, it smells like oatmeal. Okay. <laughs> My hair is really not having this cute hair clip moment. It's so thick. It literally like barely holds them. It's a scam. Someone make some stronger ones of these. Thank you. Next up, we have the vanilla milk toner. I love me a good toner, so we'll see how this goes. Also, for the scrub, I only like use a face scrub about like twice a week so we're gonna be 
only doing that like twice. So for the vanilla milk toner, let's see. Let's see here. There's her debut. Here she is, everyone. I have some faith in her, honestly. I love me some vanilla. That's like all I'm leaning on. My face actually really does feel really good. No one come for me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be taking a little cotton pad here and applying this to my skin. Oh, she's milky. Ooh, this smells amazing. I really want to have faith in Kylie right now because I'm just hoping that my skin doesn't turn to shit after this. I'm going on vacation, so I'm not trying to have disgusting skin. I mean, I'm not really trying to have disgusting skin no matter the occasion. So Kylie, please don't fail me or I'm coming for you and your family. I'm so scary. People at home, so intimidated. Ooh, I just created an earthquake. Love being fat. Next, we're going to be using the vitamin C serum. Let's see here. So this is supposed to help brighten the skin, reduce redness, stimulate collagen, and help improve overall skin health. We'll see about that. This is it. A little beauty guru moment. Whoa, that was a little bit of a shock. She has a dick. <laughs> oh, I'm so scary. Okay, so it says that you're supposed to apply this every morning and every evening, so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the week. Wait. <gasps> Kylie Jenner skincare line exposed. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be a pump, but it all came off together. I'm calling my lawyers as we speak. Oh. There's been a malfunction. Alright, so I'm just going to be applying this all over my skin. I'm not going to apply too much though because it is a toner and we want to leave some spotlight for the moisturizer. Next, we're going in with her moisturizer. Things are flying, things are dropping. Oh my god. Here she is. She's got a little pump. I'm very judgy with my moisturizers because my skin is as dry as the Sahara, so. She thick, or whatever. So we're gonna apply this. This smell, everything smells pretty similar, very just like vanilla type smells, very natural. Okay, so I don't really like the moisturizer. Not a fan, it's not good enough for me. It's not moisturizing enough at all. I don't think that's it from what I could tell right now. Last but not least, we're gonna be trying her eye cream. So this is supposed to reduce puffiness, help with brightness, and some other shit, I don't know. This is what it looks like. It's really cute actually. I've never seen an eye cream in this form. Ooh, okay. So I'm just gonna use this and just apply right underneath my eyes. All right, so first impression so far, my skin felt pretty good and soft after the first face wash. Now it's kind of burning. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Yeah, my skin is burning a little. That's not good. That's not really supposed to happen. I'm not fucking with it. But I guess my skin does feel pretty soft. But that's about it. I'll catch up with you guys soon and keep you updated on how my skin is looking. Hope for the best. Kylie kind of popped off. All right, hey guys, so I just wanted to give a little update. I hate to say it, but honestly, my skin is kind of feeling really soft and good. It looks pretty much for the most part, the same as it did yesterday. Honestly though, I don't know if I'm going crazy or if we're just in different lighting, but 
This kind of looks a little bit more irritated and red, like these spots right here. Other than that, I don't think there's any like new pimples coming in. So that's good. My skin isn't really feeling damaged. So I'm just gonna use the face wash and the moisturizer right now for the day. Don't worry, tea may still be spilled. We're just not there yet. We're on the second use of this stuff, so. Hey guys, so it's currently day five of using the skincare. Um, Honestly, I haven't seen too much of a difference with my face. That's why I haven't updated in the past like two days. Yeah, my skin has been pretty good. It's been kind of neutralized. Like it hasn't really gotten significantly better, but it hasn't gotten significantly worse either. Except right here has kind of started to come back a little bit, just a little, but it's nothing crazy. I would say though, I've come to the conclusion that the moisturizer ain't it. Um, I have pretty dry skin, so it's not really doing the job too well for me, but my skin has been pretty soft and glowy looking. But yeah, that moisturizer just doesn't really do the trick. When I use the serum and everything with it though, it definitely works a little better. But for the mornings when I just use the moisturizer, eh. I do like the face wash. It's very thick and moisturizing. A little pump does go a really long way. So I don't imagine like I'd be going through it that quickly and it makes my face feel really soft right after, so. Nothing else has really impressed me so far. The toner doesn't really take off as much dirt as I want. The moisturizer is not the best. So stay tuned for my final conclusion. All right guys, so today is day seven, the last day of me using the Kylie products. So this is how my skin is looking. Honestly, not too bad but i will say i kind of started to break out on like day five ish and on my chin here you can definitely see that these pimples are um coming back a lot and up here they're definitely coming out um but other than that it's not too crazy my skin feels a little bit more dry than usual my final consensus is the face wash isn't bad i kind of like that the walnut scrub i mean i don't have a microscopic view of my skin so i couldn't tell you if it's really tearing my skin or whatnot but i mean i think it's doing a good job at exfoliating the toner I'm not sure if I like the thick consistency of it. I like the smell and all the vanilla milk, but it's a little thick and I feel like it doesn't get off as much dirt and makeup as other toners would. The moisturizer, it's not enough. Maybe for people with oily skin it would be better, but I have very dry skin, so it definitely does not do the job for me. The vitamin C serum, I kind of like and I like the packaging, so that I think might be my favorite overall. And the eye cream, it's kind of hard to tell with any eye creams, like if it's really doing something significant, but how it feels and whatever, it doesn't feel that amazing. Like it doesn't feel that thick and like it's like really working. So that's kind of iffy as well. But overall, I just don't think that the Kylie products are like worth the price that they are. They are pr like a little bit more on the pricey side of things. So I wouldn't spend your money on it. Sorry, Kylie. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I really appreciate it if you were one of those who took a moment of silence to like pray for my skin because we came out all right. It's not too bad. We're doing okay here. It's not as bad as I thought. People really bash a little too harshly, but it's not that bad. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.